It's so easy as you're looking to start up to get stuck in this mindset of, oh, you know, I really need the perfect machine. And then you never actually start your shop because you're too worried about getting it right. How to determine what machine you need to either add to your shop or to start your shop. What do you need to consider? Well, the first place to look is what parts are you looking to make? If you're looking to job shop, you should still be looking at a niche size of product to get started on that first machine. You don't want something too big. You don't want something too small. You know, you want to go go Goldilocks on this when she's picking her porridge. You want something just right. So looking at the length, width, thickness, geometry, you know, do you have a standard part with a lot of 90 degree opposing faces? Or do you have a part with a lot of complex convex angles and faces and 3D geometries? The next thing to look at would be the volume you could always go and buy a uh, Veyron. But if you're only driving to work and back, and it's a five minute drive, might be better suited to have a Honda Civic, you know? The tolerances then on there also ties into that previous comment. You don't need that Veyron when a Honda will suffice. When it comes to the world of quality, knowing that will help you select the machine maker as well. Future expansion, where do you wanna be in five years? Do you have five more machines? Are you adding a machine a year? If so, the selection would also be part of the process because you could do a machine purchasing plan and lay that over the next few years so you know when you're adding what capacity. Next point to consider, do you have anyone else in manufacturing that you could outsource some of those operations to so you can focus on the key elements that you want to have control of so that you can do that volume on a lower budget machine while still starting in the world of manufacturing so you're not tied, right? It's so easy as you're looking to start up a machine shop to get stuck in this mindset of, oh, you know, I really need the perfect machine. And then you never actually start your shop because you're too worried about getting it right. So let's not do that, okay? And then are you going to automate? Now, I really wanna say that answer should be yes, but I do understand that I don't know everything and I don't know the reason that you're in business and really having that clear. But automation seriously is the future. Uh, in an R&D environment as well. A lot of people come to me, yeah, Arthur, but I'm a low run, low frequency job shop or I'm an R&D department. Imagine if you could automate more of your processes so that you would have more time to focus on the other parts of your business. I am aware of shops where the owner runs all the machines. That includes one shop where they own eight machines. How is it possible? Because they started by focusing on automation, understanding they would be a one man shop and they built their business that way. So it is possible. So looking at this video, a lot of the points to consider, let's summarize them real quick at the end. We've got the size of the part, the complexity of the part, the tolerances involved. Do you have any friends in manufacturing? You could outsource some of the more complex stuff to get that lower budget machine to start your company, as well as the future of automation. Will you automate? I say yes, yes, yes. But that decision ultimately is up to you and the business that you are building. Let's get your spindles turning and earning.